So I have two questions for you guys. Number one, why do you read books? And number two, whose books do you read? Even if you take a, take a moment, pause the video, contemplate this for a second. It's very relevant to what I want to share with you guys today. Now, if you thought about this, you've probably come to the realization that you, we, well, we read books because we want to learn. We want to gain knowledge. We want access to information that was secret to us prior to us you know, accessing that information. Uh, we also read books by people who are the experts in the field, people that have knowledge on the subject that we're looking into. Now, what's very interesting is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, Surah Al-Furqan, in the sixth ayah, says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أنزله الذي يعلم سر في السماوات والأرض إنه كان غفور رحيم Allah says say tell them that this is a revelation from the one who knows all of the secrets of the heavens and the earth and indeed he is the most forgiving the most merciful what I want us to focus upon is for a second here is where Allah says, Kul anzalahu alladhi ya'lamu sirra. The word sir here refers to secrets. So Allah is telling us and He's informing us that He is the one that has access to all of that secret knowledge, everything that is to be known about the heavens and the earth. Now, if Allah is the author of the Quran, He is the one that the Quran is His speech and he has given this to us, then it contains some of these secrets, some of these truths. And what's very interesting on top of this is that the word sir, the root itself also contains the meaning of pleasure. And if you really think about it, when we access knowledge, when we gain knowledge, we, we, get, we have a sense of, we, we get this feeling of pleasure. It's, it's, it's something we enjoy. We enjoy the process of gaining knowledge to things that we didn't know about before. And I think about it this way. Who is the all-knowing? Worldly authors or Allah? Of course Allah is. Now I'm not saying don't read other books. But at the very least, we should spend as much time reading and studying the Quran as we do reading other books. Because if we're truly hungry for knowledge and we truly want to learn about this world and the, this universe and every, you know, everything that's around us, the best knowledge, the best information, the most relevant information What's useful for us is going to come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So spend time reading the Qur'an, studying the Qur'an, because it comes from the one that truly knows everything that there is to be known. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.